prophesy on the instruments. Come on, let there be a sound released out of the heavens over the earth, over the United States of America. As there is a new sound of freedom that is arising, let it arise over the United States of America. The sound of a liberty bell, the sound of freedom. Come on, let me hear it on the guitars. Let me hear it on the strings. Come on. Let the lion of Judah begin to roar for you. Come on, lift up your voice. Yes, she put it there. Receive it. honor you today Lord God of heaven the God of the rainbow the God of covenant who keepeth covenant to a thousand generations to you 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 God you're the one that we worship righteousness shall stand oh God let righteousness be exalted and as you arise let every enemy oh God be scattered you know I was laying before the Lord this morning just about 2 30 in the morning and we were just talking how many of you ever had that where you just it wasn't a restless sleep it's just I knew that I woke up and I thought you know what I sense your presence I could get up but I thought I'm just gonna lay here and talk to God and it came to me really strong and I want you to listen to me those of you that are watching something that is an, is going to be an assignment as we transition out of this year and into a whole new year can you believe it we're almost entering into a whole new year and I was talking to the father and I asked him a question and listen, God speaks and reveals the plan of, of the enemy in secret. And I pressed him and I pressed him and I pressed him. What did he say? Some things we have to wait. But I will say this. He said to me, tell the people, this is the time to strengthen their relationship with me first before who is going to be seated he is seated America church needs to strengthen their relationship with God not be lukewarm come on I pray we're not the kind of church that we come in and shout and we then fornicate through the week commit adultery right live like a bunch of heathen fools throughout the week that is not honor to God. Second, he said, when you strengthen your relationship with me, my people need to understand then their authority and they need to bind the thief. 
natural, but I'm going to execute my power and my authority as a kingdom citizen to bind the thief, and they are not going to steal our country from us. Amen. Come on, if you believe that, I want you to begin to shout unto God. Come on, shout! Those of you that are watching, shout! And let his enemies be scattered. Amen. All right. Here's what I want to do. By the way, Leffler, I, Ken Leffler, I, I, wanted, I want you to do this. I, wanted, I want you to come right up here very quickly. I just, I want to pray over your eye. Without going into detail, we're going to pray the same anointing that raised Yeshua from the dead. Quickens your mortal body. I release an anointing over you and upon you. And I curse any assignment of the enemy. And I command anything that is trying to attack your body illegally against your covenant to come out. And I loose the healing power of God throughout your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I pronounce upon you and over you your covenant right of Psalm 103. And that is, your life has been redeemed from destruction. And nothing will destroy what God has created and given to you. Your eyes are blessed. Your body is blessed. And I speak Psalm 103 according to your covenant right. That surely he's crowned you with tender mercy and loving kindness and I speak to that and I speak to every organ and particle of your body come into alignment and be thou made whole be restored be preserved be protected and may this day mark a day of the hand of God upon you and for you that you'll see eye to eye and I speak that over you now and may this anointing destroy every yoke of bondage and undo every heavy burden. And God, may he as he goes see that the hand of the Lord has prevailed. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. Come on, give God one more shout. <laughs> amen. Give him one more shout. Those of you that are watching, shout! <laughs> All right, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you greet one another and then say this? I bet I know. Fourth of July is around the corner next week. I know what you're grilling and how you're chilling. There you go. Greet one another. All right.